And uh, one of the fires uh, has um, moved beyond its uh, fire guard. The town of Valley View added to the list of Alberta communities evacuated due to wildfires Monday as a change in winds impacted a previously held fire guard. Officials saying hot, dry weather is making the fire situation volatile across the province. Certainly, we are not out of the woods. I don't believe the worst is behind us. We need to be prepared and ensure that our resources Sources are best placed where that fire danger is going to be most extreme. Alberta Wildfire says there are currently 1,600 Albertans working on the wildfire situation with an extra 900 from out of province, including 300 from the military. So, so this is going off to Fox Creek. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau stopping in Edmonton to speak with the troops on his way to a G7 meeting in South Korea, with Minister Bill Blair and Randy Boissonneau committing the federal government is there for support. And the relationship of the government, the federal government to the provincial governments is we provide the support that's needed as long as it's needed and uh, well past when this time when this makes headlines. Alberta Premier Danielle Smith had toured the Grand Prairie Fire Friday and said at a campaign event Monday she has been in communication with Trudeau. I've already mentioned to the Prime Minister that uh, his help will be needed on the rebuilding so I'm, I'm glad he's here to, to see the um, uh, to see the situation for himself. Also Monday Alberta Education confirming high school students evacuated from their homes for 10 school days or more will be exempt from writing their diploma examinations. Gusting winds and very hot and dry temperatures, uh, you have to adjust your tactics on, on how you uh, will fight a fire. And sometimes uh, those, uh, those mean um, more indirect attack, things like uh, steering a fire away from the community through uh, using natural fire breaks and, and removing burnout, so removing dry fuel. As fire crews brace for a change in winds, asking everyone to be aware of fires and alerts in their area. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.